just in case it leaks. Um, taking photos of the fuel tank. It's split along here. I'm not sure if that's where the fuel sits or it finishes just here. But it's open up here as well, so I don't know. Might have to get fuel tank for it. So I'll put the fuel in and see we go. I'll just have fingers. So, so since the coronavirus, have you got stuff, have experiences, how to build things, where you, you'll do, you'll do, you'll pull off the street. Sad. There's not much fuel, but it's enough to see the leaks. No lights, good. Very good. Might have put them all in. Leave us in overnight, it's free to leave them all. We all see it all. Start up in the morning. Check the official lid. The fuel tank lid's not what I call a, a good um, supply, it just doesn't feel like it's seated right. We're not leaking, guys. Yes, we are. Just a little bit. So she is leaking the cap. There's no ring. It should go on, probably. Fan before, pull the O-rings off and flip them over, it usually solves the problem. So I'll do that, but um, I have a peek under the hood, see what she's like underneath while I'm at it. See what spark plug it's got. Uh, spinner. One I don't have. One I meant to have, I broke it. Well then um impact drive where to put that. Just put that away. I got these um new impact drives the other day. There they go. Very happy with them. I got from a company up in Queensland. I think I'm running it.
got a hell of a hobble if you want. Airfields, I would say, is very cheap. Where that um, plastic um, cloth's been draped over it. I'm not a fan of that. But what I will do while I'm here, I'm going to do this from now on with every Chinese client store I come across. Two stroke oil, drag down the um, carby. I'll turn the motor a few times, then I'll go to the bottom end of the motor and lubricate the bearings and all that crap off. So, less chance of scrapping, scratching the hell of the motor up on the first start. Turn it off. Thanks guys for watching. 